This is definitely the most like hardcore mode I've ever played though. Not gonna lie. Like I think we're literally like seven Minecraft days into this by now. <laughs> like I've literally been playing a week and I've amounted to a crafting table and uh, a few tools that I've hence lost. <laughs> but I think things are gonna start looking up. I think now that we can, now that we've got our bearings straight, now that we've kind of find a, a spot to call a home base, you know, with my food that I have, like the saturation levels that I have, I can actually make a farm before I die of hunger. I kind of use most of the first day talking to you guys as well as, you know, just wandering around as a tiny person. So finding some chickens, I could possibly um, farm animals, maybe? So raw food might not even be bad. Um, I don't know how to make a farm because they're all big chickens and stuff, right? They're not like tiny animals, so I have to functionally make an actual chicken farm as a tiny person to be able to farm and breed chickens and whatnot. Um, so I don't know how feasible that's gonna be, but that's the thing is like, you know, with like hardcore and like, like UHC and stuff like that, if you're, you know, scared of dying, it's like you can still make a chicken farm pretty easily, like it's just as easy, but in this mode, literally everything is just harder, <laughs> right? So look at this pond. This is literally like a puddle, but I think this is like a lake that I want to build my house at. Yeah, I think I'll mine this dirt block and just build a house on top of that block and in like this little one by one space and function from there. Anyway, so when you're tiny, right, you can have the tiny, like how I can place a tiny crafting table. I think I could place a tiny sapling as well and possibly the bone meal or just wait for it to grow. And then I can have a tiny tree and then mine that quicker then I can mine an actual tree. So I can make like a tree farm and get wood and get blocks like that quicker than I can actually mine this tree. All right, items have despawned. This is literally where I died, so I don't believe I'll be getting those back. Don't really know what I expected, honestly, but we're back, we're here. Oh no, I forgot that I picked up the crafting table before I died. We don't even have a crafting table, boys. Okay, let's go back to this tree, start from square one. It's almost nighttime. Fantastic. Alright guys, I've made a little mistake. I am kind of trapped up here. I, I kind of pillared alongside where the tree was and was mining. But instead of going up, I went to the side to get these logs. And these are kind of just floating above the ether. Right? Um, so when I break them, they're just gonna fall. So, now that I have enough wood to make a crafting table and all the necessary gubbins... Yay! Alright, so we have a crafting table. Make some sticks. Round two. Yeah, I'm actually just gonna make a wooden pickaxe for now. I'm not gonna bother making a wooden axe because it would be a little bit faster, but the I'd have to go down and get stone and stuff to get a stone axe, and I don't have that. So we're just gonna punch it. Aha! Come back! <laughs> All right, I've got an idea. Um, we can pick this back up now. There we go. I can't wait till I get some like iron tools or something because it'll cut it into like a literally like a fifth of the time easily. Come to Papa. Oh, why do you got to be down there? <laughs> All right. Alrighty, into the hole we go. Wow. What a time to be alive. I can't really tell because of the waterfall, but it's not raining. That's one of the first times I've come out of a hole without it being nighttime and or raining. And mobs everywhere and lightning trying to strike my tiny little body. Shut up, crow! Alright. We make pickaxe now. Hell yeah. Let's see how fast this baby goes. Something I noticed about beds too when I was doing a little test run in a creative world was that you can't save your spawn point at them and or uh, sleep in them and stuff to skip the daytime if you're tiny. So I think the house rules that I'm going to go with is that if I'm tiny and I build a tiny bed in a tiny house, then I'm going to go ahead and say I can use a command to set my spawn point and to skip the day if I do so choose to, if there's not mobs around. I think that'll be very nice <laughs> in my efforts of, you know, not going insane playing this. But so far it's been a lot of fun. I'm having a lot of, a lot of fun. That's the same thing. Uh, but at the end of the day, the plan for this episode was to kind of start building a house. I honestly don't know if I'm going to get there, but I'm going to do my best. Realistically, what I want to do 
is get enough stone, get an axe so I can actually get wood and things like that. And then I'm going to head on to getting coal from that like surface coal that's sitting on that cliffside. I think that'll be easier than like digging a mine. This is all I've mined entirely since I started this freaking episode. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and take a look at this though. Let's see. Oh baby. Oh, we're cooking with gas. That was like slow as hell. But because we're tiny, it's actually pretty quick. So I can't be too mad. Literally any increase in efficiency is, is a, I guess by definition, an increase in efficiency. I don't remember if I mentioned earlier, I don't need furnaces because furnaces don't cook food. They just don't work in this mod. So I think I'm going to stick with my path of trying to grow a farm and whatnot. Fingers crossed I'll find a village at some point. Um, who knows when the hell that's going to be. I've, I've went a, a full like chunk or two in distance since I started this. I just had a really good idea. Though it's going to be pretty loud swimming in this water near the waterfall, I can actually, you know, traverse upwards quite quickly, I think, in this waterfall. Hell yeah! <laughs> I can just swim right across. Big problems require tiny solutions. Oh, I've emerged! A new man! Beautiful. <laughs> Alright, I think this is a pretty good distance up there. Oh, there's a piece of coal right there. All right, never mind. We're going back in. Round two. Beautiful. Oh my gosh. All right, it's almost nighttime, but we literally are like in a cliffside. So we're not going to die. So that's good news. And we can actually mine this bad boy. Make some goddamn torch. It's been like over a week in Minecraft and I haven't had a torch yet. How the hell am I supposed to build a house? <laughs> Hey, what's up? Oh my goodness, all right. Build a little staircase, mine some coal. Hey, there's that majestic cow again. He sees me, my son. All right, back to the coal. Two pieces, not too shabby. Has more torches than I'll ever need to light up home base. If I hold a torch, I have dynamic lighting. That's gonna be really helpful for not having to place torches like this. And I also don't really wanna do this. I'm just gonna be running around with a torch in my hand to actually be able to light up the place. But for instance, like if I place a torch down in one of these, it doesn't light up the place. It's just a torch. <laughs> Give me your seed. Sound of bed. Look at our little breath blowing in the wind of the cliffside. Hold up. Oh, I thought that was like a village house. That's like a ground level tree. What am I doing up here? What was that? <laughs> So just chilling over here on my little ledge that I've made to get to this little coal block hanging above this area. I notice this creeper who's kind of trying to get to me. I think I have a 200 IQ move here. Let's see if it works. Whew. All right, risky maneuver right there. <laughs> um, half a heart, that sucks, but look at all the free blocks that I just got, <laughs> hello. Didn't have to mine a single one of them. This is quite possibly the most elite gamer move I've ever made in my entire life. But for now, I think I'm going to hide inside of a little hole because I don't want to lose these resources due to being no-scoped by a goddamn skeleton in the distance. There's like a freaking army over there guarding that majestic cow. Um, I'm half heart. I'm used to it. I'm just going to dig into this little hole and wait till daytime and come back out a new man with some new blocks and some coal, and hopefully what begins to be the start of a little farm. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, so I do need to go back up these stairs, though. Gotta find that piece of coal that I never really got mined. Oh! Oh my god. Woo! I... I... For some reason, I thought I was, like, ground level with the coal, and there's, like, you know, this little drop-off. I almost fell far enough to, like, take half-hearted damage. If I died doing that, but not from <laughs> getting blown up by the creeper, I would have probably rage quit. Uh, my plan here as well, if it works, hopefully it does, is to kind of mine this coal and then jump into the water to kind of speed run my way back down to my little tiny base over there. All right, guys, another big brain move. I've got an idea. I'm going to craft a chest. From what I remember, I'm pretty sure a chest works. Yes! 
Thank God. And we're looking good. We actually have some blocks. That's kind of cool. I'm also going to put this pickaxe in there too. So if I do die and I lose my stone pickaxe, I can actually get back to this spot and have some sort of tools. <laughs> I'm not just starting from square zero again. Ground zero? Squares, square one? Square one, that's a saying. Don't look down, Austin. Don't look down. Oh, God. I don't know if I can make that jump, honestly. So we're gonna... We going to keep on going. All right, boys. Half a heart and a dream. Ready for the vertigo? Ooh! Oh my god, I'm gonna miss! Oh, I made it. Oh, I made it. Ugh. That leap actually gave me some old ass vibes from a very, very old like survival Let's Play series I did. All right, uh, let's just do it. Oh my gosh. Damn it. I came down here, waited in a hole, and completely forgot that I left my chest up there before I jumped down. Uh, at least I built staircases instead of jumped all the way down, right? Ah, uh, civilization. I'm almost positive I will get absolutely nothing from that man, and if anything, I will die because one of his llamas will freaking spit on me from a distance. Thinking back to the day of when I played that old um, zombie city map, that's the reason why I built this zombie city map that I made, is because I wanted to play a zombie city map that didn't suck, and I thought the people would like that too. And the whole concept behind me getting into map making was that I played that old zombie city map. So playing that zombie city map, that's what ended up getting me this like career I had for a little while in the Bedrock Marketplace. And why I'm kind of inspired to be making this video right now. So kind of a cool little throwback and you know, call back to when times were simpler. So I've also realized that making a bed is going to be hard as fuck. Like, <laughs> I gotta kill, like, multiple sheep. Uh, I guess I could shear a sheep. That'd be a lot easier. Um, getting iron seems difficult, but honestly, like, beating multiple sheep to death is going to take a lot of effort. <laughs> there we go. I think that's safe. Run a bow. Nailed the landing. 10 out of 10. Did you guys like it? Guess not. All right, guys, it's time. Time to leave the noisy waterfall behind. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it's been decided. Uh, coming through here with all the little fireflies and this little pond with this block in the middle, it's kind of the perfect place. It's, it's where I want to build the first base. Uh, I've got a chest here that I've put down all of my stuff in. Uh, I'm going to put the torches in there as well, and I'm going to murder myself. It's pretty close to the beach, so once I spawn back... What was that? <laughs> once I spawn back... I can make my way back here. It's pretty close to the ravine, too. It's kind of equidistant to everything I need, except for maybe trees. Those are all, like, up on top of a freaking hill with the majestic cow still hanging out. <laughs> but, yeah, drown myself, come back, start from there, see how far I get. That was anticlimactic. <sighs> all right, we've officially made it back to the ravine. It looks like we have some surface iron. That's good. Uh, some more iron and coal. There's probably, yeah, more surface iron over there. That's fantastic. I think the best thing we could do with the iron, first off, is to make a bucket. So that we can actually make a farm, right? Farm's gonna be pretty important because of the, um, you know, concept of we can't really eat because we can't really kill things as easily. So even if we could kill things, we just have raw meat, so... Even a bread farm would probably be the best thing to stave off us from just dying continuously, right? <laughs> uh, not running out of sprint and things. So even above, like, making shears to make a bed, I think we should make a bucket or a few buckets. Um, because the journey to water and back is treacherous. I don't know if an infinite water source works with the tiny blocks. Probably, though. I think the farm is, like, one of the most fleshed out aspects of the smaller units mod. So we'll see how it goes. Um, we should be pretty close to our base over here. Where are we? Yep. There's our little baby chest. And there's the majestic cow yet again. Let's go for a little dip, shall we? Take a look at the... The innards of our... You know, base. Come on, get out. There we go. Alright. Give me the loot. Alright. 
Back on the old dusty trail, we're going back to the ravine, and we're going to find a way down without instantly dying, hopefully. It's turning nighttime, but that doesn't really matter. I guess it's a surface ravine, so hopefully it doesn't spawn a bunch of mobs. But if we take a look down there... Wow, there's no water. Unfortunado. Um, I really don't want to mine all the way down there. I think we need water. Uh, there is like a little stream right here. And I think it honestly would just be quicker to get that water connected here. Whew. <laughs> ah, damn. Just the aspect of connecting a water stream to a ravine is made more difficult. <laughs> I made a straight up waterfall now. <laughs> Let's go in. Look at this place, man. Look how daunting this place is. Ugh. I'm coming. Hello, beautiful. Alright, let's go ahead and put one of these bad boys down. Um, let's put a torch down. Like an actual torch. Kind of just light up the area just a little bit so things don't spawn directly on top of my forehead. Hmm. Okay, something I just noticed, uh, kind of a hiccup here, is that as we can't smelt food and stuff like that because the mods, you know, don't work as intended and we're not able to use a furnace while it's a tiny block, we also can't smelt iron, which kind of makes the whole game impossible, right? <laughs> we can't uh, make a bucket, so we can't even make a nether portal. We can't make a farm, obviously, which is what we're trying to do right now. So, I suppose we're probably going to have to do some house rules. You know, basically just say, yeah, if I have a furnace around, like a tiny block furnace, the same way that I can't really sleep in a bed, I'll just say if I have a furnace around and I, you know, throw away some iron ore, I can then replace that with some iron ingots, right, with the slash give command. The same way I would, you know, skip the day using commands, right? So, I don't think you guys will mind. Um, it's kind of what we have to do with the state of the mods that they're in. Um, I don't really mind. It would be cool if it just worked as intended, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And that, that, that's what we're going to do. So. <laughs> but yeah, all things considered, this, is, this has been working out really well. I've been having a lot of fun. Probably the most fun I've had in Minecraft in quite a while. Is this too close for comfort? Oh, saved by the bell. <laughs> Alright. So, we're, we're making way. I think um, after I get this iron and then go back down and get those bad boys, which look like they're forever away, but they're only like eight blocks down or something. <laughs> um, I have a nice little staircase. It's looking beautiful. Listen to the little pitter-patter of my feet. It's so cute. <laughs> That's also one of the mods that I added, too. I forgot, is I added, like, uh, realistic reverb. So the same way that um, the waterfall sounded less quiet when I went behind the tree at the beginning of the video, if we're, like, in a cave or, like, surrounded by a lot of stone or materials such as this in, like, a big house or something, it'll kind of echo, right? So... Our footsteps and whatnot, and mobs, and placing blocks and stuff will sound epic. <laughs> and also sound more to scale, as if we're like really tiny in this massive crevasse, right? Ah, <sighs> This is gonna take a while. First episodes are always the hardest. <laughs> uh, I've been playing hours and hours and hours, and there's very little to show for it. It's so tough, but um, I think now that we have some like groundwork done... The remaining episodes are going to be a lot, but there's so much I'm going to have to cut out. Literally just the process of, like, mining ore I can't even keep in because of how long it takes. <laughs> how boring it would be to watch. It's kind of cool, though. I, I start to, like, you know, I get, like, one little vein of ore and then ends up looking like some quarry. Oof. Got lucky there. This is, this is what we're going to do, right? We have a furnace... Right, pop that in there, got a bitty bing bada boom, place it down, tiny furnace, you could put stuff in, works beautifully. As soon as you put the ore in, nothing happens. <laughs> it just doesn't work. If I try to log out and log back in, this little arrow and stuff will start ticking and it'll take a piece of coal, but it just won't go all the way across. And I can't find any way to make it so that it actually works. So hopefully one day, sometime soon hopefully, the mod will be updated so that a furnace is actually work. Um, and maybe it isn't even the mod, maybe it's just the combination of mods I have, but for the time being, 
right? We got our coal in there, we got in there, and with the magic of editing... Oh my gosh, that smelted so fast! Look at that. Beautiful. Alright, yeah. <laughs> a little unfortunate, but we got it. We got it. We can make a bucket. Alright, it's been decided. I'm gonna make some shears, and then I'm going to... Make a helmet? No, it's not worth it. Not worth it. I need one more piece of iron. Damn. I'm coming, my babies. Yes. Uh, Alright, uh, time to head back up to the surface, I suppose. Thank you, random little ravine. You've served me well so far. <laughs> God, I'm never gonna get over the little pitter-patter of my little toes, dude. It's so cute! I feel like I'm being beamed up right now by a spaceship. Uh-oh. I thought that was hollow. <laughs> We're good. We're Gucci. Swim, my child. Just keep swimming. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh. Just gonna scoop up a little bit of this. Don't mind if I do. Oh, thank you. Alright, I made it back in one piece. But it's nighttime. And it's a little past midnight, it looks like. We have a few things to drop off. I also discarded my, uh, my iron ore over here, as you could see, so not stashing that anywhere. Oh, the fireflies are so beautiful. Yeah, so I want to try to um, get some seeds and start making a farm. I only have three hunger left, so I'll probably die before it grows. Come to Papa. I did it. I survived the whole night. Weren't really any baddies around. Um, I think the torches helped a lot. There was one creeper. He blew up right over here, uh, but I don't think my knockback scales like my damage does because when I punched the creeper, he actually flew quite a ways, it felt like, at least from my scale. So, blew up a hole, uh, picked up the dirt that was in there, and that was nice, I guess, but other than that, pretty uneventful. Um, none of the grass he blew up dropped seeds, I don't even know if that's a thing, but I have seven. I pretty much just stuck to this area right here, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it worked out pretty well, so now... I'm gonna head back to base. Um, just pillar up right here. We're not too far away. Hopefully there's nothing at our base. Nope, just some giant-ass flowers spooking me. Ugh, finally, we can kind of get started on a farm. The Hoe of Destiny. All right, I have an idea. We're gonna place this here, and we're gonna build a farm right here, so I can have this area open up. Um, because we can't use these blocks and the little tiny blocks in the same spot. Uh, it, it just places an even tinier block, so... Kind of ruins it. <laughs> um, but we can build around each other, right? So I'll build a farm here, and I want to use tiny blocks to build a bridge from here to here. And then I'll use another one of the big, you know, yellow squares so I can place actual blocks for the base, at least for the inside of it. So I can use the outside to be the little tiny chisel and bits blocks. But right now, all we have to do for the farm, I believe, is we're just going to build a little thing like this. Ooh, sort of sad. I accidentally broke the chest when I was trying to break that little piece of dirt that I put down, and uh, it doesn't drop the items from it, so I kind of lost like six iron and a few other things. Um, but luckily I had a majority of the stuff I had on me. So, we're booling. We're doing good. Uh, put a few more here. Bada bing, bada boom. Oh, there's no water in there yet. There we go. It's working. It's working. The soil is taking water. <laughs> All right. Oh, lost a piece over here. Hell yeah! My crops need sunlight. God damn it, my crops. They're growing. I'm a father. <laughs> uh, I think that's actually where I'm gonna stop today, guys, because damn, I've been playing for a long time. I know it's not a whole lot of progress, but I promise the next episode is gonna be a lot more action in terms of actually doing some stuff. But if you guys want to try it out yourself, I'll have uh, like the names of all the mods and links to them, hopefully, in the description, as well as everything else I talked about. Um, if you guys want to go through the same torture I did for hours and hours just to build a tiny little wheat farm and probably die of hunger before it even grows, then be my guest. But if not, I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.